The finishing touches are being added to this amazing green roof that's part of the Whitehall Co-op in Riverdale. Underneath is a garage and a school. And when the co-op was required to fix the roof for leaks, residents decided to go all out with gazebos made from teak wood and lots of greenery that's already attracting signs of nature. I've already seen bees, um, you know, pollinating plants here, which uh, when this was just a 30,000 square foot slab of concrete, you never saw anything. It's just people baking in the sun. This is what the roof looked like before, and this is after. Now there's something here for everyone. For the kids, this is going to be a playground in just a few weeks. And if you like to walk for exercise, this is a walking path that goes throughout the green roof, and it's made out of recycled tires. The place is designed by the same landscape architects who worked on the High Line. And when you look at the one-story building from high above, you can see what an oasis it is in the middle of city life. We're about 100 yards from the Henry Hudson Parkway, but you can't hear it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, it really does, what I hear are the birds. Yes. When it's finished, you'll hear water running in this fountain, and the trees have a long way to grow. So this is one of the four foot deep pits to allow rooting area for a full size tree. The tree here is going to be 30 feet, 40 feet tall. So it's just a baby right now. Yes, exactly. Uh -huh. And all the rainwater will now help water the plants instead of flowing into the sewer system. Many residents see this as the wave of the future for urban living. They keep talking about the city as a concrete jungle. I think we're, we're trying to do everything we can to kind of dispel that. Mission accomplished. In Riverdale, Cindy Shu, CBS2 News. The project cost six and a half million dollars. It was paid for by refinancing the mortgage on the building. I'm sure a lot of people are going to enjoy that space. Yeah, that's, that's great. It's like a lot of fun.